Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday. I'm about to do my makeup, so I thought I would film my Talk Tuesday. I am currently still in my pajamas because I just woke up, so I wanted to say hi to you guys. I'm going to get started with my foundation. All right, so the first thing I wanted to start off by talking about this morning is that I hit 100,000 subscribers at some point during this week, which honestly is just mind-blowing. I am obviously excited, but I'm a little bit confused at the same time because my views are nowhere near 100,000. I mean, I know most people don't get anywhere near the amount of views that they do have subscribers, but I feel like my views are well, well below um, what you would think somebody with 100,000 subscribers has. So it's strange. I mean, I'm really excited. I never thought I would hit 100,000. So it's very, very exciting. I've been on YouTube now for seven years and I just never thought that would happen. So I am very, very excited about that. I think the reason I'm most excited is because I want that YouTube play button. If you don't know, you get a it's like a silver plaque thing from YouTube when you hit 100,000 subscribers, so that's probably why I'm most excited. But as for the views, the only thing I can think of that um, is the reason why I'm getting a ton of subscribers, but those people don't necessarily watch the majority of my videos, is that I have two videos that are very, very viral, uh, like have a lot of views, I mean, and that's my birth videos. Um, and they've always been kind of the most viewed videos on my channel. And I feel like, I should actually look that up in analytics, I feel like the majority of my subscribers come from those videos, and clearly I'm not here posting birth videos every single day. So maybe if I posted birth videos every day, those people would be interested, as strange as it sounds. I know I get, um, I get subscribers from other places as well, like lots of my baby wearing videos and stuff like that too, but again, I'm not putting up baby wearing content every single day. I'm putting up Talk Tuesdays for the most part. So that's kind of my guess as to why people who subscribe aren't watching. I'm not too sure. I've also heard a lot of people talking on YouTube recently about how there's some something wrong with YouTube or a glitch or something and people who normally get a lot of views aren't getting a lot of views right now and people are losing subscribers that didn't mean to, like people are being unsubscribed from channels or they're not getting the subscri subscribers that they're supposed to so I'm not sure if it's something going on with YouTube as well I still think I'm way off from the hundred thousand but I'll take it I mean, I'm not gonna complain <laughs> I'm still excited I need to start putting up more content on this channel besides my talk Tuesdays I really enjoy doing these and sometimes I do review videos as well but I'm not too sure where this channel is going to go and I've kind of felt like that the whole time I've had this channel, it, it kind of just follows my life. So if I'm pregnant, I focus on pregnancy updates. If I have a baby, I focus on baby updates. If I'm on a weight loss journey, I focus on that. So it's kind of just followed my life right now. And at this point, I mean, I'm just focusing on getting better. And then I have my second channel, my gluten-free discoveries channel. And I've been putting a lot of more time into that channel because I put up a video there every single day of the week. So if you guys miss me and you want to see me, you want to see me talk about snacks then definitely subscribe over there but I'm not sure where this channel is going to go I'm not going anywhere I'm going to continue doing these talk Tuesdays and as things happen in my life then it will obviously be on this channel because this is my journey it's Allison's journey I'm just at one of those places in my life where there's not too much going on in my journey right now and and I'm really okay with that so yes this week has been a good week our kids are off school now so we're having fun with them um, we didn't end up going to the mountain like I talked about last week because it snowed again here quite a bit sorry I'm out of breath I had to run downstairs for a second um, and we got to just take them sledding here locally uh, Harrison if you saw on Instagram he made like DIY sleds like <laughs> out of cardboard and uh, garbage bags I remember doing that as a kid <laughs> just funny I'm laughing so the kids had a ton of fun with those and uh, yeah we didn't have to go to the mountain which was really nice I unfortunately started coming down with a cold Sunday which sucks I haven't had a cold in a long time but I think it's because Saturday night we went out for Harrison's um, work Christmas party and it was downtown and I don't know I was just exposed to a lot of germs it was also really cold out and I was in a dress which probably wasn't the brightest idea but I woke up Sunday not feeling well and then yesterday Monday I was really not feeling well and I luckily got in with my naturopath 
yesterday. I was supposed to see her on Thursday anyways for the Myers cocktail, the um, IV vitamin infusion that I love oh so much. So I bumped it up to yesterday and I saw her and she gave me that and she gave me a whole bunch of other supplements to help me get through this because I really want to avoid antibiotics. Um, we think it's strep throat probably. Um, and apparently you don't always need antibiotics to get rid of strep throat, which is news to me, which is great. So I'm trying to cure this naturally. I am feeling so much better since that vitamin infusion and all the stuff she gave me though. Like, it's just awesome. Fingers crossed that I keep feeling better because I do not need to get more sick, especially before Christmas. I'm trying to think what else to talk about. Um, I went to the LuLaRoe lady who lives up the street from me. This weekend she was having an open house and I wanted to check it out. I'm still loving LuLaRoe and I still am trying to become a consultant but I've been waiting almost a year now and Canada is just not not ready to start onboarding new people which is really disappointing because I'm seeing so many people loving selling it and unfortunately I can't do it here in Canada yet. But she also sells something called Lip Sense. I don't know if you guys have heard of that. Um, I started, I heard about it through her and then I wasn't too sure about it and then I started seeing it on Instagram all over the place and all these demos and I was like wow that looks really amazing. I need to try that out for myself. So I bought it and I love it. I got a very, I'm looking for it right now, I got a very like neutral shade so it wasn't too dangerous. It's not like a bright red or anything. I got the color cappuccino and I got like the starter kit. So basically if you haven't heard of lip scents, there's this color here and it does not come off your lips. It stays on your lips. Like they show um, demos where they like rub their lips or they'll put swatches under water and scrub at them and they don't go anywhere or they'll paint their lips different colors and rub them together and they don't bleed. Like it's essentially like paint, like it stays on your lips, but then it comes with, where'd it go? A gloss on top and it is so moisturizing and the, the color itself doesn't feel like you have color on. So I'm one of those people, like I like wearing lip colors, but I can't be bothered to constantly be reapplying it and worried if it's going outside the lines. So I was really excited about it. So before I do my eyes, maybe I'll actually, I don't usually do my lips first, but I'll show you guys what the color looks like. Okay, so you basically start off with this, which is Witch Hazel. Um, and you just clean your lips to make sure that there's nothing on them at all. It's also like the type of product that um, you have to have exfoliated lips or if you don't it'll kind of do that for you and your lips have to kind of adjust and get used to it if that makes sense. But yeah once your lips adjust then you don't kind of go through that phase anymore. And then you shake it up and it does take longer to apply than just like slapping on a lipstick but then you don't have to apply it again. So. So far I'm, I'm happy. I want to try out other colors. You can mix them too apparently. So this, I don't know if I said, this is cappuccino. So you put on three layers. It dries pretty much instantly, but three light layers. And the color builds up. So that's one layer and it's pretty much already dry. And you don't want to put your lips together right now because they'll stick together. Um, the gloss is kind of like the last step so that, that doesn't happen anymore. So here's another layer. Okay, so there's the color there. It's like a, a nude type color. And then this is the gloss here. And it feels so good. And the gloss comes apparently in like different finishes. Like this is just glossy, but there's matte, there's glitter, and there's sand, I think. I kind of wanted the sand, but she told me just to start with this one because it's a good starting point. Mmm. Anyways. Hopefully it'll focus. So that's the color there. Anyways, I thought I would show you guys in case you, I don't know, saw the ads and you were curious if it works. It actually does work. Like, this will stay on the entire day. You can take it off with coconut oil. They have a remover as well, but you can just take it off with coconut oil and it comes off fine, but it doesn't go anywhere. Like, it's not going to come off on your fingers at all. I mean, it would be better demo if I was wearing something darker like a red lip but none of their colors budge so I just thought it was really cool. I'm going to put on some eyeshadow today because I'm going to visit some co-workers later and I miss them so much since I haven't been working they just wanted to see me for to say you know Merry Christmas and whatnot. I'm still not sure if I'm ever going to be going back to like my actual job because I'm just so unreliable as far as my health so I miss those ladies and I'm excited to see them today. I hope all you guys are having a fabulous week and that 
if you work, you get some time off around the holidays and that you guys are all ready for Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. It's five sleeps away according to my children, so it's coming up pretty quickly. All right, so there we go. Here's today's makeup. I need to go do my hair now because I think I'm going to film a video next of kind of my year 2016 in, re in recap, mainly from my own memories, but I'm going to share it as well because it's been one hell of a year. But I hope you guys all have a fabulous Christmas and I'll see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!